what is happening everybody we are back with another reaction video and we'll be reacting to once upon a deadpool and this is what that pg-13 deadpool movie coming out this is absolute genius on their part i don't know why they're doing a pg-13 movie i i, I wonder if some i'm not seeing some people speculating because you know the i mean dc uh, Disney bought out at least the movie part of Fox. So they're thinking like, oh, they want to integrate Deadpool into the MCU. But of course, the MCU movies are, you know, PG-13 and Deadpool is a rated R movie. The, but it was, you would think, like, why would you, because they were like, because first they were saying a pg 13 version of Deadpool 2, which I was like, why don't you just integrate them into the movie and just you not, know, I mean, just don't show as much blood or have him just say a bunch of as, as much vulgar language as he was before, you know. But then, of course, we're like, well, that wouldn't be Deadpool and all stuff. I mean, Deadpool wouldn't be on the screen, as all you could say. In Deadpool movies, those are rated R, but when he's with anybody else, like if he's in their movies. Then it's going to be PG-13. And then you could do things like, oh, he makes fun of it. Like, why is my voice, like, why is my cuss words being bleeped out and stuff like that? But, uh, of course, this, I think this, I, I, I kind of thought from the beginning this was like kind of like a joke. <laughs> they they, they were doing a PG-13 for Deadpool because it's going to the Disney universe. I know. <laughs> Which is, you know, of course, Disney is pride itself being a, a family friendly company and uh, if anybody's ever worked for Disney you know like, <laughs> what I'm talking about how that uh, like that I guess, disguise they put on about we have to be Disney we have to be family friendly all the time and everything we do all the I remember when I went when I worked for Disney World and uh, that's when I first heard of that Disney look. And I, I had a beard at the time, so I had to shave my beard. I can keep my mustache, but it couldn't go past the corner of my mouth. I was like, why? And I remember asking one of the managers, that, and he said, mainly it's because, you know, people, because, I guess, he's, he's what well, he said, because of Disney movies, people think of men with beards as being instant villains which i guess i could see that i don't think it's mainly because they disney did that but i mean you see that in movies in general like you see some of a beard like they're the bad guy or a mustache so that's why i was like when would you just have a clean shave then but i guess they were trying to compromise oh you you want facial hair that's fine you don't have to be completely shaven but you can't have a beard and it pissed me off because I had a huge beard at the time. It took me like a year and a half to grow that beard like that long. And it was like, oh. And I didn't know anything about that until I actually got to Disney. And I was doing the whole in process thing. And it was like, I had to shave my beard. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and it was funny because I guess other people knew that. Because I don't think I saw, I saw one other guy. He had mud and chops. You know, like just huge mutton chops, and uh, but everybody else, I didn't see anybody else had a beard. And I guess either everybody already knew this, or <laughs> or uh, they they had already told them, or that just maybe everybody just didn't have a beard near that mustache. But I was like, I was like, that was the most bullshit. And then I ended up growing this, this back. And kind of make keeping it like really small, so no one know and notice it. And I'm sure they noticed it, but they just like whatever. It's not as long as you don't have a beard, they they didn't make a big deal. Which is funny because when I started working there, it was a guy that big. It was a big guy, big heavy set guy. Had a full beard. Like he had one of those beards where you know they don't have a mustache. They just have a gigantic beard. And I was like, what the. F I was like, why does he get to keep beer? None of the managers, like, either they didn't know or they wouldn't tell me. It was just like, you know, that's just him. 
I was like, the fuck does that mean? That is just him. I was like, I gotta, I had to shave off my damn beard. Like, why he has, why he gets to keep a beard? I'm going on a rant here because it pissed me off. Like, I was like, why does dude get to keep a beard? Like, I had to shave my heart. It took me a year and a half to fucking grow. But anyway, let's just, let's, let's get in once upon a temple. It said this is an official trailer, but it's only like a minute long. It's not more like a teaser to me. But anyway, let's see. All right, here we go. Right before Christmas, a good guy in red is coming to play. Yeah, good guy, that's a bit of a stretch. What movies is I remember he was a kid and his grandfather or someone was reading him. Was reading him. I can't remember the movie. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> oh my god. So we are Marvel. Nickelback's alright. I feel like people just jump on that bandwagon. Oh, Nickelback sucks. Hey, have you ever even listened to a Nickelback song? Like, come on. Uh, that's bright. But that, that was, I mean, that was cute. <laughs> it's a, that, that, that's a teaser. I don't know why it's titled Official Trailer on YouTube. On 20th Century Fox's web on a channel. But that was a, a teaser. <laughs> but it, it was, it was a funny, what movie is that? I don't even remember what to look I don't remember the name of the movie, but I, I remember... That kid, that same kid from that same kid from Wonder Years. I can't remember any. I used to watch these fucking shows and stuff back in the day, and I don't remember hardly anything about them. I, I don't know why. It's like my brain just blocked them out, and I, I don't even know what to look up to. Like, only because I don't know what the kid's name is. Maybe I'll look up. Because uh, I really want to know. Oh, shit. Deadpool Christmas Fred Savage, that's his name. Okay. Fred Savage. What was he? What was that? He's from Chicago? I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, it was him in Wonder Years. Huh, did not know he was born in was born in Chicago. He's the same age as my brother, my, my oldest brother. He's forty two. Uh IMDB. Cause I wanna know what their that movie they represent. I've seen that movie but I don't remember the name of it. I know when I remember the name of it, all of a sudden all those memories are going to start flooding back. Princess Bride. That's what that's from. Yes. Princess Bride. 1987. The Grand, yeah, the Princess Bride. I think it's because when I was a kid, I remember now. I think it's because I, I I only remember that little part when 
He talk I, I used to skip that part and go right into the story. Now they did go back and forth, if I remember in that movie with him, if I remember correctly. I remember the beginning part, I used to skip that part just to get into the movie. How did I forget the Princess Bride? I mean, I know it's been like 12 years since last time I watched that movie. Hey, Fred's that. <laughs> All right, well, anywho, what did y'all think of that? Y'all looking forward to Deadpool? I mean, the movie was pretty good. I still think that the first movie might have been a little, I might have liked that a little bit better. I mean, I liked the, the second one, but it's the first one. It, it kind of had that feeling like when you see uh, John Wick and you see the first one and then you see the second one, even though the second one had more action in it and everything. The first one, for some reason, it was just maybe because it, it, it was, uh, I didn't expect it to be good. I mean, really, I don't, I don't usually, I usually temper my my uh the word I'm looking for. My expectations, I guess, of a movie. Like I don't I don't get too light because I, I, I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> so I'm like, well, if it was bad and my I kept my uh expectations low or at least mid range. I'm like, no, that wasn't that wasn't that good, but man, life goes on and <laughs> They, they they tried. <laughs> they, they tried. Or if it was if it was actually really good, I was like, hmm, I'll watch that again. One more time at least. I'm not one of those people that go, I need to go to the movie seven, eight times to watch it. No. I watch I might go twice to a movie theater to see a movie. Most of the time I do that if I went. I couldn't wait on somebody like a friend to go see so I went by myself. And then I went again with a friend. I do I do not go to movies more than three times. Like I can't I, I never understood when I've heard people say like, Oh yeah, I went and saw that movie uh seven or eight times in theater. I'm like the movie, especially nowadays, it's not like back in the day when you had to wait like a year for the movie to come out. You know, it like I never understood that. Like uh and nowadays, when the movie comes out with like seventeen weeks or something like that, like after it's theatric run, and some movies even then come out sooner, so or like on digital, you know. So I'm like, why would I go to movies that many times to pay? Especially the way tickets are now, like sixteen dollars and shit, depending on where you go. Like I think the cheapest I've seen. And like where I live in Chicago, it was, uh, I think it was like thirteen dollars. That's with the tax and everything. That uh, I don't fucking do that. But uh, anyway, what y'all think of that shit? Y'all like it? My fucking eyes. So I'm not. Y'all think this? Yeah. I I think it's gonna be actually really good. I think it's gonna be really good. You know, they kind of. I think they're gonna really make fun of the whole Disney and Fox deal. I, I don't. I I wonder if that's what they're the whole point because <laughs> it, it it seems to be Deadpool too. Was added. They're gonna add scenes into it. I wonder if they shot these scenes in, in you know, in retrospect, thinking about this this whole deal and this uh, the shoot extra scenes, and then we're gonna fit that in later. They come out during Christmas time so we can make even more money. They, these motherfuckers are ingenious with that. And I I, I really want to know what they do when they're going to get to Marvel. How they're going to how they're going to integrate this character with other movies with the rated R and the PG-13. I'm sure they're most likely probably just gonna make a joke out of it. He won't be doing 
he won't be the, the focal point of course because he'd be in other people's movies. So he won't it won't you don't have to rely on him. You won't have to well you want it won't be too much violence and then all they gotta do is just take the blood out. You can you can shoot somebody in the head as long as you don't see blood and he's not cursing and talking about suck a cock and all <laughs> they, they, it, they can you can you know you can really push the limits of a PG thirteen. It doesn't have to be rated R. Yes, you just want a bunch of blood and sex and you know vulgar language. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Cause I know most people well not most I shouldn't say most people, but people especially it's supposed to be like a a, a Deadpool two point two point oh or something like that. Like, you know, people say, oh, that tarnished the original for me, you know, like this, like the uh, RoboCop reboot tarnished the RoboCop original, which I don't, I never understood how people say that, like, I don't give a fuck how many reboots or anything they make, that would never tarnish the original for me, if I liked the original, like, if they rebooted Commando right now, it's not going to tarnish how I feel about Commando, the, the original Commando or RoboCop or any of these other remakes like that doesn't I, I, and no one is ever really able to tell me why it's more of a more of a feeling I guess which is fine I mean it's just you feel like you can't watch it anymore or it doesn't have the same you, you don't feel the same watching the original since you watched the reboot or something I've never heard anyone say that about a sequel to that. Like, it was a sequel that said you didn't like Lethal Weapon 2. That's what you better not say. <laughs> well, let's say you like the sequel to Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon 2. Does that tarnish Lethal Weapon? You know, if you like Lethal Weapon, you know, that's... I've never really heard that with sequels. I've only heard that with reboots. But, anyway. What'd you guys think of that, you know? Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.